All right, so we want to figure out the volume generated. Uh, this whole area here, if it's flipped around the x-axis, so kind of like this, and then this is all filled in, and then kind of like that. So to do that, we're going to use the shell method, and we're take, we're integrating this with respect to y, so nothing too complicated here. You just got to be careful how we set it up. So it's going to be 2 pi, and it's just y because we're flipping it here. And we're integrating from 0 to 4. And it's going to be, um, it's just going to be y to the 1 half plus 1. And I got to distribute that y. So it's going to be 2 pi, 0 to 4, y raised to the 3 halves plus y. All right, so we, when we integrate this, and then, of course, dy. So we have 2 pi quantity y to y raised to the 5 halves over 5 plus y to the 2 over 2, going from 0 to 4. All right, so when we integrate this, um, ultimately what we or integrate it, when we plug these numbers in, we get 2 pi. And then on the left part, we get 64 over 5 minus 16 over 2. And then for the zero part, it's just zero minus or zero plus zero. Why am I getting this should be a plus? All right, so then when we add these up sixty four over five plus sixteen over two. Um, and this is actually eight. So pi, we had to ultimately end up with 208 pi over 5, or approximately 130.7. All right, I hope that helps you out. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.